All right, welcome back. We now uh, have Catherine from the Bank of Maine Society and Alyssa Sinclair, our uh, assignment editor slash cat wrangler. I don't know which came on, so I'm just going to look at all one in the middle, so don't worry about it, Alyssa. Middle. We got this part. Uh, so who do we have here, uh, Catherine? So this is Grace Lynn right here with me, and over there is Harrison, and they are two cats from a litter of four kittens that came into the shelter. Uh, I oh, don't know exactly how old they are, but um, I'm guessing 12 12 to 15 weeks. They were both just spayed. She was spayed. He was neutered on uh, Thursday. Mm -hmm. So at this point, they are sterilized. They're up to date on the uh -oh. shots, and they are ready to go. They are feisty uh, little kitties, aren't they? They can be exactly. Although Gracelyn is, look at the, what a little doll. Look at her, just taking everything in. Okay. What a pretty girl. Yeah. So um, you know, kittens are pretty easy, honestly. They are what we call good judgment, which means that just take care and some basic precautions when you're introducing them to cats or dogs mm -hmm. or children. Um, but at this age, much like puppies, they're pretty malleable in terms of what they'll accept. And they'll just make a nice addition to the home. Um, I know a lot of folks ask, are they litter box trained? Um, most cats don't need to be trained. Mm -hmm. They just kind of come out knowing what to do. So yep. yes, they are, they are litter box trained in that they've done that on their own and they're ready to go. Uh, what's going on at the shelter right now? For kind of a rare time, we have a lot of lot of kittens. Yeah, we have got over 30 kittens in the house right now, so not all of them are visible on the floor. So please take a look at our website, and if you see a name <laughs> that looks interesting and you don't see them on the floor, please ask us because they are probably in the back of the house. But yeah, it's still kitten season. Mm -hmm. uh, kitten season is a bit of a misnomer now, and it really kind of goes all year round sure. where we've just got an influx of them. But right now, we do have more than usual. Yeah. So uh, you, you said best judgment, but uh, these two or, or uh, one of them could be a fit in a lot of different homes, right? It's true, yeah. They will likely be okay with other cats. I mean, cats generally take a while to get comfortable with one another, mm -hmm. <laughs> no matter. Um, but yeah, and as long as you've got a dog that isn't overly exuberant, isn't going to chase, then they'll probably do fine with that. And this is a great age to, to introduce them. As long as there's lots of parental supervision, it's a great age to introduce them to young children as well. They'll be pretty um, pretty open to, to just about any sort of affection at this point. <laughs> Alyssa, uh, how do you feel about that cat over there? Would it be a good addition um, to somebody's home? I love him. I don't know if you guys can tell, but he has a little little nub and tail, um, which <laughs> I'm obsessed with. It's so cute. Um, He's a good little boy. He kept suckling on my fingers before we came out here, which was adorable. There you go. So just a perfect fit, little nub and tail, and uh, will suckle on your on your thumb too. So that's, that's orange nice. cats what else do you are, need? are different, a different breed. They're, so they're pretty special. They're really fun. And go. he has been purring since I took him out of the kennel. Oh yes, and actually like she is purring right now, so she's she's also pretty happy. This is a pretty chill litter. There you go. As kittens go, yeah. Act fast. Graceland and Harrison <laughs> won't be around for long. Thank you both uh, for your.